Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Monday reflections and looking forward just to chatting with you a little bit about this past Sunday. We were, were in the series, the I Am series, uh, the statements that Jesus made about himself in the book of John and this past Sunday Josh took us through I Am the Resurrection and the Life and uh, we learned that it's one of the most misunderstood statements and so he really took us on a journey to understand what he was saying when he said, I am the resurrection and life to Martha. And so to, to sum it up, because there was a lot that Josh took us through, and it's really important as we look at the names that Jesus is using for himself that we go back, that we understand where it all began. And so if I was to sum up uh, all that Josh took us through on Sunday morning, which really was so rich. And so I encourage you, if you weren't with us on Sunday, to head to YouTube and to take a look at Josh, Josh's message there. Um, again, because there's just, there's so many important pieces to, to, um, to, to look at. There's many ways to look at this statement in many different directions you can go when you teach from it. Um, and I just love how Josh gave us a really beautiful view of seeing it through a first century Jewish person as Martha was to understand what he really meant. And so it's a reminder, it's a reminder that uh, we all we all need to read through the entire Bible. We need to see the full story of what is going on to truly understand who Jesus is for us. And, and in that, if I was to sum up, you know, in one sentence, um, Josh's message, it's that Jesus is everything. He is everything. And so when Jesus said to Martha, I am the, I am the resurrection and the life, he was saying, look, really look and see what is happening. I am, I am what you were looking for. I am what you were waiting for. I am everything you need. And Martha, you know, she, she came out at Jesus demanding an answer from him. My brother is dead. Where were you? If he was here, if you were here, he wouldn't have died. Where were you, Jesus? Why, Jesus? Why didn't you do what I wanted you to do, what I knew you could do? And then Mary, Martha's sister, sat and she waited for Jesus. And when she met him, she moved his heart with her grief, her need her love, and so much so that Jesus wept. He wept with her and those that were with her. So Mary doesn't demand any answers, but is instead present to all that is happening in that moment. And she's present to her need for him and her need for comfort. And so as I reflect on that, I have to ask the question, am I, am I demanding an answer from Jesus? Are you demanding an answer from Jesus? Where are you, Jesus? Or where were you, Jesus, when I experienced fill in the blank? Am I saying, do better, Jesus? And is he saying to me, I am everything that you're looking for. I am everything that you're hoping for. Everything that you're longing for. I am what the prophets you know and you read have been talking about all this time. It's me. Everything is being fulfilled in me right before your eyes. Jesus is saying that to us. And are we hearing? Are we hearing him? Are we understanding that he is everything that we need when we're asking and demanding answers to our questions? And in that, you know, as we do that, Jesus didn't turn away from Martha. He, ans he answered her. He met her in that. And he gave her himself. I am the resurrection and the life. He was showing her that he is everything. So Jesus is everything we've been waiting for and longing for. And he says, you cannot do this without me. Nothing is impossible with him. And it's all impossible without him. The question is, how do, how do I protect my union with the one with whom nothing is impossible? How do I protect my union with the one that is everything that I need? So like Mary, I can't do, 
I can't do this without him. I will wait for him. I will not deny the emotions and the struggle and the tears. I will wait to see what he will do. Will you wait to see what he will do? I won't turn away like the rich young ruler when I recognize that the cost is more than I want to part with. I won't take my baggage off that nail in the doorway when I walk back through the door. I will choose not to be distracted from the one I love. I want to give it all up and I want to follow Jesus. Who else has the very words of life? Who else would I go to? Who else would we go to? So Yahweh, which is the Hebrew name for I am, Yahweh, I am that I am, we, our hearts, our hearts long for the deeper place of connection with you, with you, Yahweh. And I bless you this week to experience more of what it means to follow, to really follow Jesus in the day-to-day -day of your life, to follow the one that says, I am everything. I am the resurrection. I am the life. I am what you are looking for. I am what you're waiting for. I am what you're hoping for. So as we go through and continue to go through this series on the I am names that Jesus gives himself in the book of John, there's going to continue to be a lot to unpack because there's so much richness in understanding who God is through the names. And so we're covering, of course, um, we're covering the, the I am names in John. And so there's a lot to unpack. And so I want to encourage you to share your thoughts with your connect group. So if you're in a connect group, this, those are opportune times to share your thoughts, the things that you're thinking through, the things that are, um, that are rising up in you, the questions that are coming, uh, or even just the, the things that are making sense, the dots that are connecting. So a number of you are in connect groups and you're going through these messages uh, and you're using some pre-prepared questions as a guide for dialogue which is great. So you're going to have opportunity to do that. But if you're not in a connect group, um, I just want to encourage you, you know, connect with someone that you've gotten to know in the church, go out for coffee and have some great dialogue. Maybe just, you know, ring them up, call them up and have a conversation. <laughs> we don't do that as much these days, but find a way to connect. Um, and if you're thinking about, well, I would like to be in a connect group. I have thought about it. I haven't had a, I just want to encourage you, please head to our website at summersidecommunity.church to learn more about our connect groups. There's information there for you to, to check out and to dig into and to reach out and find out more. So, you know, we need to do this journey together. We're not meant to do this journey alone. And there's, there's so much to learn and be encouraged by, by those who are along the journey with us. So bless you this week as you dig deeper, as you have conversations, and as you allow the Father to speak to your heart and reveal more of who he is, that he truly is everything, everything that we need. Bless you. Bye for now.